What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So just wanna come on here and recap the 2022 NHL free agency for the Colorado Avalanche. I wanted to make this a couple weeks ago, believe it or not, but I was waiting on the news for Nazem Kadri, one of our bigger free agents. And just the other day, we got the news. Not the news that the Avalanche fans were hoping for, but um, basically all of our big free agents have either re-signed or signed elsewhere. So I'm here to make the video of my thoughts on how everything went down. So let's just start with the good. Uh, everybody who re-signed with Avalanche or signed in free agency slash draft. Um, in the draft, I believe in the sixth round, they got a center. Um, I did not pay attention to the draft, but the only thing that I cared about in the draft is they got that Ivan Zigliov. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but they got the goalie in the seventh round who was the fourth best goalie, believe it or not, in the entire draft. So I felt like that was good value right there. If they can develop him right, which I believe they will, then they might have a good goalie, you know, beneath the wings of uh, who they got right now. Um, let's see, they re-signed Jacob McDonald, defenseman. I like him a lot. Hopefully he gets a chance to make the top six this season. Uh, he signed a two-year, $1.5 million contract. So welcome back, Jacob McDonald. Um, this was one of the bigger signings early in the free agency for the Colorado Avalanche. I mean, they basically told us right here that Darcy Kemper was not going to return. And they went out, traded for Alexander Georgiev, uh, and then they signed him to a three-year deal worth $10.2 million, which, honestly, that's a good value for a goalie contract. So I like that a lot. Hopefully he can produce, which I think he will, behind the Avalanche defense. So as long as that goes right, um, feeling pretty confident, you know, even after losing Darcy Kemper. Um, and then here you go, one of the probably the biggest signing of free agency for Colorado Avalanche was bringing back Valeri Nachushkin, the right wing. They signed him to an eight-year, $49 million deal. Uh, he had an amazing season for the Avalanche. He definitely deserved it. If he wasn't going to get paid by us, he was going to get paid by somebody else. And I was hoping that we kept him uh, more than Kadri because Kadri, he's a little bit on the older side. I believe he's like 32, 33. And, uh, yeah, so I want to get into Chushkin because I think he's like, what, 26, 27. So he'll be about 32 or 33 when his contract's up. And then, I don't know, maybe if he doesn't keep on producing, uh, they can find a trade partner and ship him out. But, no, after how he played this year, he definitely deserved it. I mean, he was huge in the finals for us. And, uh, you know, really throughout the season and in the playoffs. Um, they re-signed uh, Andres England, a defenseman, for a one-year $750,000 contract. Uh, Darren Helm, legend. He uh, won us the series against the St. Louis Blues, you know, just a last-second shot. I mean, I was getting prepared for overtime. That was one of my favorite moments in the entire playoffs. I watched watching it on tv and you know we got back into the game tied it you know and i was like okay let's get this thing to overtime i think we got a good shot to uh end this series tonight but darren helms like not we ain't going to no overtime and just blast it past Billy huso and i mean that was it was incredible i mean <laughs> you just can't make that stuff up like they were breaking the second round exit streak right there. He was like, no, we are, we're not doing this again. We're not going game seven. We ain't even going to overtime. And that sent us to the next round. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it was awesome that actually happened to my team. You know, I, I see it happen for other teams all the time. And then finally we got a moment like that. <laughs> I knew that it, uh, this team was special during the regular season and then continued in the playoffs so that was one of the top three moments for me and then uh this is a guy i was really hoping they'd re-sign 
And then sure enough, they did. Josh Manson, defenseman. He's top four defenseman. Uh, honestly, I thought he was going to go back to Anaheim, not because of all the noise I was hearing. Um, just he, he has a special connection with the Anaheim Ducks. And I thought since he got the ring, you know, he was going to be like, all right, let's go get the money with the Ducks. But no, he came back. A lot of reports were saying that him and the Ducks were a done deal. But no, he came back to the Avs, signed a four-year deal worth $18 million, which I think is pretty f a fair contract for him. Uh, he had some big shots in the playoffs, uh, goals that is. And I thought he was a great defenseman as well. Um, I remember in the second round against the Blues as well, when the net was wide open, Darcy Kemper just all over the place, and Josh Manson actually blocked the puck from going into the net. So, put his body on the line. Um, and, yeah, I just he, – he's a great – guy to have on their team i'm glad they're able to bring him back uh next josh jacobs not the running back the defenseman he signs with the avs for a one-year deal Seventy-five thousand uh, dollars. i believe yeah it was a re-signing yeah and then we got uh spencer smallman right wing he signs a two-year deal 1.5 million dollar contract the Avs uh and then here we go another guy who I was hoping they would give an extension to I thought was one of the best deadline pickups of any team they re-signed a Terry Lekkonen who fastly became one of my favorite players I love watching a Terry Lekkonen play he's just a little pest out there like every time the opposing team had the puck he would always be hacking at the guy you know at the puck i mean not the guy but yeah he'd be hacking at the puck and does not cause penalties you know he was just a pest he just gets into your head makes you screw up and he was he sent that colorado avalanche to the stanley cup finals with that overtime goal just like he did with the montreal canadians and then he won the stanley cup for the avs you know he scored the game winning goal in that game six so <laughs> just uh left winger i love the guy the guy is freaking good at hockey he knows what he's doing so and i think him and mckinnon they got they got a good connection on the ice um and i was happy that they're able to bring him back i mean he wasn't a free agent yet but i'm happy that they're able to extend him so uh this is probably the first guy who they signed from another team because I don't believe that he played for us but that was Brad Hunt defenseman uh signed a two-year deal with 1.5 million for the abs <laughs> don't know much about him but I honestly thought they signed him because they're going to trade Gerard to try and make up some cap room for Kadri that did not happen um and we got Callahan Burke center one year $75,000 contract. Keith Middleton, defenseman, one year $75,000 contract. And then Mikhail Moltsev, one year $800,000 contract. Happy to bring him back. I thought he was decent, lower line winger. And then Anton Bilda, I don't want to say that. Uh, left wing, signed one year $75,000 contract. So now let's look at the guys who are still free agents or have departed. So Nazem Kadri is at the top of the list. I really did not want to lose him. I loved how aggressive he was. And you just need a guy like that. You know, he's like a Draymond Green. He's just a guy that you hate unless he plays on your team. Just, uh, he's a good player. Uh, great at scoring when it's needed. And, uh, you know, good at getting on other people's heads. So, sad to see him go, but yeah, he left for Calgary for seven years, $49 million, which he is uh, 32, yeah, a little too much. I mean, at the beginning of the contract, I think it's going to work well for them, but towards the end of the contract, I, like the final two, maybe three years, I uh, don't know how that's going to go for them, so we'll see. Uh, Andre Burakoski, great lower line uh, winger but he left for Seattle for 27.5 million which 
that's uh that's a little bit of an overpay in my opinion um i like andre barakowski but he's one of the few guys i yell at the tv about because he'll just blast a shot wide over the net uh and you'll be like what are you doing dude so <laughs> uh when the guy's cold he is ice cold but he gets on hot streaks sometimes and he can score but he's replaceable so good luck in seattle darcy kemper yes uh 32 33 years old as well left us for the washington capitals for five years 26.2 mil um honestly that's that's a lot of money. That's like 16 mil more than we're paying, uh, what, Georgia for three years. So, yeah, they. I think they were confident in their defense with whoever's back in net that they got their back. So they were fine with Kemper walking. I will miss him. I liked Kemper a lot. He wasn't perfect. He definitely let up some soft goals every now and then, especially in the finals when he had that one bad game when we lost like 6-2 or something like that. In game three, that was that was scary, but you know the Avs were good enough to overcome that. Uh, next free agent center, Nico Sturm, fourth line center. Uh, he went to San Jose for three years, six mil. So thanks on winning the cup with us. I kind of was like, I wouldn't mind if he came back, but I wouldn't be surprised if he left, and he left. And then uh, Let's see, Jordan Gross left us for Nashville, two years, for 1.5 mil. Roland McCow, two years, 1.5 mil in Nashville as well. Uh, Dennis Gilbert, he left us for Calgary. I actually like Dennis Gilbert, thought he was a decent uh, younger player, he's a defenseman. But Calgary, 1.5 mil. Nicholas Abbey-Kilbell left for a year for a million with Toronto. Thanks for denting the cup. Uh, Jack Johnson, man, I really want to bring him back. I thought he was going to retire, though, but instead he goes to Chicago for a year, 95000 Uh Thank you for helping us get the cup and all your ice cream that you put in it, but <sighs> bless your soul for going to Chicago. Dylan Serka, he went to Chicago as well. One year, seventy-five thousand, and then Kiefer Sherwood went to Nashville, seventy-five thousand. So that's everybody that re-signed on different teams. Uh, there are still some Colorado Avalanche that have not signed with anybody. That's Ryan Murray. Uh, I do not expect the Avs to bring him back because he literally did nothing. Shane Bowers, uh, uh, they'll probably bring him back. On uh, wait, no, I've already been through that. Nick Henry. Not sure where he's going. Stefan, um, Matt Yu, and then Hunter Misko, which I knew Hunter Misko wasn't going to come back. He posted on his Instagram. I follow him. He said that he was thankful for his time in Colorado, but he's ready for a new journey. But anyway, that is everything. I'm pretty sure the Avs are pretty much done making moves this free agency. So, yeah, but honestly, with what cap space they had and what they were able to do i'm pretty happy with it i would give them a b minus on this free agency uh like i said I was, i'm shocked that they were able to re-sign josh manson um but yeah i think honestly the next thing if they're gonna do anything else in this offseason give nathan mckinnon the extension okay he's gonna probably get like upwards to 11,000 per season. So, or 11 mil per season, 11,000. Not bad. <laughs> no, 11 mil per season. It's going to be like 11 mil to 13.5 mil per season. So, he's going to get paid. Uh, he deserves it. He's definitely one of the top centers in the league. Uh, probably top three, honestly. So. Uh, anywho, hope y'all enjoyed the video. As fans, leave your comments down below. Your favorite signing, how you feel about the offseason. And other than that, stay safe, be good. And, uh, you know, let's run it back. Let's uh, go for another cup. 
This season was fun, but it's on to the next. And you, I'm out.